What's up, you guys? You guys are cool, and I'm back with another video. And as you can see from the title below, this is gonna be an empties video. I did my last empties video from YouTube, says three weeks ago. And these items are just items that I've used. I haven't really got into the items that I wanted to get into for my use it up, but I still have it in their same containers and they will get used up. But these are items that I have used up. Before I get started, I just want to thank all my subscribers, all my new subscribers, all my returning subscribers. If you're watching this video and you have not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Then also hit the notification bell so that way you know every time I upload. So the box is pretty full. I have a lot of candles in here and i still have some candles off to the side so we're just going to go ahead and get started so the first candle that i'm going to show you guys is green tea and aloe this is not the lid for it i just put a lid on top of it um so it's green tea and aloe this is the candle that i burned every day when i got off of work i burned it for at least an hour or two smelled up the whole room it's just amazing smells super good well smells kind of gone now but this was one of my favorite candles. The notes on this candle, green tea leaves, refreshing aloe, white sage, and this was everything. If I see it again, I definitely will get it again. It is so calming. It just made my wind down like that much better at the end of the night. Next candle I'm gonna show you guys is Crushed Candy Canes. And this one I got, I wanna say a few years ago, I got the 75% off. Um, the notes on here are crunchy peppermint, white sugar crystals, frosted mint leaf. To be honest, this is the candle that I started to burn when I was able to smell again. And I could barely smell it. It wasn't anything too crazy. I wouldn't repurchase this at all. Yeah, like you could smell the, the, the mintiness of it, but it's very, very faint. Next one I'm going to show you guys is a Aldi candle. This was a Honey Glazed Pear Cider. Smelled super, super good. I love this candle. I love all these candles. I have one burning in the bathroom right now. Um, and I absolutely love all these candles and this, that's all I gotta say. You will see another Aldi candle in my empties. Next candle that I finished was Pumpkin Patch from Goose Creek. Goose Creek is always a joy to burn. Like I absolutely love burning these candles. Look at that. Look at that clean burn. It was amazing. It was delightful. I was burning this when I wasn't able to smell and I was like, I'm just gonna, you know, save it for when I am able to smell. When I was able to smell, it was just amazing to finish up. Like I said before, these candles burn for 100 to 150 hours, and it's just a clean, clean burn. It's like barely any setting. So this, this was just amazing. I loved it from beginning to end, pumpkin patch, and I would repurchase this again. Next one I'm gonna show you guys is Fresh Fall Morning. This definitely, like the smell of it, definitely gave me like the vibes of just fall morning, like the first day of fall, going to school, just that smell of the air. And it just, it's just a really fresh smell. Smelled up my whole living room and almost into the bathroom. It smelled so good, so good. So the notes for this one is citrus zest, woodland sage, red delicious apples. I would definitely repurchase this again. I loved it. Next candle I'm gonna show you guys is the salted caramel lattes from DW Home. It did burn down all the way. Like I showed you guys before, I think I showed you guys, I had to keep like trying to light it so that way it gets like an even burn. So I don't really like how these candles burn. It eventually did get an even burn at the bottom, um, but I don't know if that had to do with me like helping it to burn, but I do have three more of these candles. I am gonna repurpose this so that way I can use it for decor. It does have the blue lid. I don't know where it is right now, but um, it does have that blue lid that I'm gonna, you know, basically use for decoration or like, I don't know, I just love this. So if I was to move and have like a like a, a coffee bar, this is definitely what I would use. And I'll put like sugars and like little like creamers and stuff and I'll just put it in here. So I absolutely love this. I think that is so cute. I love the container. I don't know if I'm going to keep all of them, but yeah, the burn for this one, I kept it right here on my desk and I was able to smell it as far as like for a whole room. No, this is just for like close proximity. It's not anything that like is too far smelling it outside of my room in the hallway, nothing like that. But um, it's definitely, this was just $9.99. Um, so $10 for a candle. It burned for a while. Um, if you wanted to try it, I would definitely say get it. Next one, it's in my empties, is a pineapple pound cake. This one smells phenomenal. Like, 
it's just so good like you get like that tart smell from like the pineapple it's like really sweet but kind of tart at the same time and i just absolutely love it it really surprised me i didn't think i was gonna like this one but i even have a backup of this and it took me a while to burn this um if you see when i hauled it last it was probably like a few months ago and then i saved it and i was like you know what i just really want to smell it i burned this one when i was able to get my smell back it was just delightful and I have a backup, so I would repurchase this again. The notes in here is fresh pineapple, sweet vanilla pound cake sprinkled with powdered sugar. Definitely smells good. It, it's it's amazing. Like, I love this candle. Love this candle. I got through a lot of candles this time. This is the eighth candle. One, two, three. Eighth candle, and I still have two more to show you guys. So, this one is Whipped Vanilla Dreams. This one was really, really light. I had it in my room, couldn't smell it, so I put it in the bathroom, and it was definitely able to fill up the bathroom. But it's definitely really, really light. Really, really sweet. I absolutely loved it. Don't have the notes on here. I'm sorry. But um, the burn, I was kind of disappointed with the burn. So it kind of like wanted to burn all the way around and like give me a clean burn. But it did what it could. I'm not mad at it. I'm um, just a little disappointed because you can see around the sides that it's kind of on the sides and it didn't like bring it down. So, but there's that one. Next candle I'm going to show you guys is Pumpkin Snickerdoodle. This is I think this is called like Kate Street's packaging. Love this one. Love, love, love this one. It's so amazing. It definitely fills up a whole room and I smelled it into the hallway. The notes for this one is warm sugar cookies, ground cinnamon, fresh nutmeg sprinkled with sugar. Smelt so good. You definitely smell like the pumpkin and like the spicy smell of it. Like it just smelled really good, really sweet. I definitely gotta go pick me up a snickerdoodle cookie or something because I've never had one, but smelling this just made me want to try one. So this one I would definitely repurchase. So the way I've been going through candles, I had put I put it in my head that I was going to get through a lot of candles, and I am. So I'm very, very proud of myself. Next one that I finished is Frozen Lake. This one was in the bathroom. It did throw a little bit, but I mainly just get these to put them in the little um, one-wick candle holder that I have. I have a pineapple one with candle holder. I am going to put that away so that because I don't have any more of these. So I guess I'm done until I get some more single wick candles. Aldi did have single wick candles for $2.49. So once I let this dwindle down a little bit, then I'll probably visit there and get some. But out of all the candles that I have, I'm so proud of myself for getting through this many. Currently have three burning right now. So pat on the back to me. So excited. So on to the products in the box. Um, the box, I might have to find a different box because this box is getting worn and torn. But you know what? That's that's what it's for. It's for it to, to hold my products. So first thing I'm going to show you guys is Raspberry Jam Donut. I finished a body cream. And I'm so proud of myself because I, it takes me forever to finish body creams. But this one, I finished it. I was taking it to work with me every day. It smells so good. It smells really delightful. Um, speaking of which, I, this is the spray is actually in one of my project Use It Up. So that's probably going to be my set of the day today. This smells so good, so amazing. And like I said, I always love how they can replicate the dough smell and they get it every time. So this smells amazing. Like, I just love it. Love it, love it. Next thing I'm going to show you guys is the Main Choice Growth Oil. This is amazing. It's actually helped my hair grow a lot. I've used this um, along with a few other oils and like, you know, oil, uh, oiling my scalp. And it's just been helping my hair grow. I love the smell of it. It is kind of pricey. Um, I've seen people uh, see this in like TJ Maxx or Burlington. Like when I see other people's haul videos or like not their haul videos, but like their shop with me videos. And I'm like, dang it. Like just pick that up for me. Like this is $11.99. I get it from Ulta. I got one from Walmart before. I have yet to find it in like a TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Burlington, anything like that. But if I do, best believe if it's cheaper than $11.99, which it probably will be. I will be getting backups because this is something that's going to be in my forever regimen. Thank you, Jasmine. She showed me this and I absolutely, ooh, just hit myself in the face. I absolutely love this. Next thing I'm going to show you guys is from Palmer's. It is the coconut oil formula. It's strong root spray for dry, damaged, or colored treated hair. My hair does get really dry, and I did put the rest of this inside of like a bottle, a spray bottle. So when I do my hair, um, I just put the conditioner in. I kind of just spritz it just to give it that touch up, show it a little bit of love. And I spritz it. It's just water oil and then like black seed oil 
um i think it's black seed oil but i just have my own little concoction and oof I, I used to be a product, a product junkie when it came to like hair stuff. And it would always be stuff that like end up not working for my hair. So now I have a bunch of extra products. But I usually just stick with like oils now and like the conditioner that I get. Um, and that's really all I need. I used to put gel in my hair. Not anymore. Not anymore. Next thing I'm showing you guys is Flake Away from Soap and Glory. I had it in my shower. This you can usually get around Christmas time. I usually get it the day after Christmas because... That's when everything goes 50% off, and I do not play, pay full price. So, this was amazing. I probably have, like, two more in my collection somewhere. So, of course, I would purchase this again. Next thing is just a bath soak. It's avocado oil bath soak. I think I got this from Dollar Tree. And, I mean, it's just a bath soak. It didn't really do anything for me, but I enjoyed it. So, when I was sick, I definitely took bubble baths. And this definitely helped me feel better. Next thing is from Bath & Body Works. My favorite. If you watch my hauls from the semi-annual sale, you would know that I swear by this product. This is my second one, I believe. I have one more left. This is just the Mineral Body, body Polish with the Hyaluronic Acid. I finished it up. It was amazing. It smells so, so good. And I love it. I used another body scrub. This is the Dove exfoliating body polish with crushed macadamia and rice milk smells so good i absolutely love it like when i first got this i thought it was like why would i get that it looks like it's creamy it's creamy but the exfoliating particles are similar to sand like they're so good they work really well and it's just it just melts on the body absolutely love it like after you're done exfoliating it just melts right off this i have like four more like i think i i didn't put another one in the shower i have a tree hut one in the shower right now but um this i would repurchase definitely next thing i have is the wake up your tired feet uh energizing coffee scrub so this is what it is um it's just basically just for to remove dead skin i use this along with like the, the foot brush thing to scrub my feet got all the dead skin off next thing was one of my empties and i'm sad that I could not finish it. It gave me like a sticky feel. And once it gives you like a sticky feel, you gotta let it go. Like you just gotta let it go. I didn't realize I had it for that long, um, but I'm just gonna put in my empties and retire this. I would repurchase this, definitely would repurchase this. But for right now, I'm just gonna go through what I already have. Comment a purple heart down below if you have made it this far and you've seen all the empties that I have. Let me know also if you used any of these, if you like them, if you will repurchase them, which ones are your favorite, or if you have a favorite that keeps reoccurring in your empty products. Next one is Marshmallow Krispies. This is just a wax melt. I used it all. I have two other backups. I will be buying two more, or I want to buy two more. This is something that I just can't let go. Like, once it's gone, I really am going to wish that I had more. It smells up the room. It gives, like, a lemon-based smell. I absolutely love it. I got this from Jasmine Bullard. I saw her purchase it. She actually put it in one of her uh, community tab posts. And I was like, what? I, I actually went out that day to go find it. Found it. Got three of them. Down one. And I'm using another one. Um, so, I don't know. Maybe I'll pick up one more. I don't know. I don't even know if this is a year-round product. Let me know if you know if this is a year-round product. But I just love the smell of this. It's amazing. And look at the bars. It just makes you kind of hungry. It makes you want to snack a little bit. Next thing that I used up is actually a Dove bubble bath. This is in uh, co coconut and cocoa. Sorry, I stuttered on that. I don't know why. This, it doesn't give you that much product. Um, but I did have this with the bath salts. And it did work really well. I mean, just to get you really nice and soapy. I like it. Would I repurchase it? Probably not. I could probably go to Dollar Tree and get bubble bath. Um, that will probably do the same thing. But so, yeah, it was like five ninety something. It was like six bucks for this. Mm, nah, I wouldn't repurchase it. Next, I did finish three room sprays. This one is Black Cherry Merlot. This one's Marshmallow Fireside, and this one is mm, Pink. What? Pink Apple Punch. Smells really, really good smelled up my car amazing this one i used in my house these two i used in my car um and they smelled amazing next one that i use up is another winter candy apple this one i didn't the other one i ripped it off completely this one i just kind of ripped it open so this is the second one that i use um i have a vanilla bean noel left so i'm kind of no i'm not using that right now but 
you will see another one of these in my empties next item is a neutrogena bright boost as you probably well you don't know because i don't talk about my skin regimen a lot but um i do like stuff that's gonna brighten up the skin not lighten just brighten so that way like all my dark spots you know they get rid of i get rid of them my little pimples on my head and i definitely like this but i repurchased it no i feel like it went by really really quick um for seven i think this was like 17 bucks for 17 dollars i definitely don't think that this was worth like i just want more so i feel like for my skate for my face stuff i love tj maxx marshall's for like vitamin c stuff next thing is the uh glow recipe watermelon uh glow niacinamide dew drops I mean, I feel like they brightened, I mean, like, gave me, like, a glow. I think it's supposed to give you, like, a hue of, like, I don't know, just, like, a glisten. But I didn't use this, and I have a glisten, so I don't know. I wouldn't repurchase it because it's so expensive, and I want to just try other products. Next empties are my hand sanitizers. Um, this one is winter, and then I have another winter, and then I have my, and I have my coconut pumpkin latte. So, I finished those three. I currently have the spray on my keychain and I will be using that one up. Then I have leaves. So there's that. Also raspberry chiffon. I'm not sure if I showed you guys this. I probably didn't. It's probably the first thing I put in the box. Um, But raspberry chiffon, I did end up finishing up. Absolutely love this. I would repurchase it. So I'm kind of going on a no buy Ugh, and it hurts me to say that, but um, probably a no buy with a budget, a small budget, because I do want to get some things from the semi-annual sale, and I'm proud of myself for using up all these things, but if I showed you everything that I have, you'd be like, girl, no buy for a year. That's it. No buy for a year. Um, next thing that I use is leaves. I did like this. It smelled really good. I don't remember where I had this. Um, oh, actually, no. I have leaves in right now. This one's actually sweater weather. And then another one that I use, see, sweater weather, and I I think this one was leaves. I'm not sure, but I usually put the tabs in when I'm done. I probably threw off the other one. Don't know why. And that's it for my empties. All right, guys, that's everything that I have for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Also, if you made it this far in the video, go ahead and comment a snowflake so that way I know that you made it this far. Comment down below if you use any of these products. Also, if you have any video recommendations, I will take those too. My name is Chanel Nicole. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.